So this guy looks pretty good, I think. Um, again, this is three specular lobes, roughness. Um, I don't have displacement on him right at the moment, but we have some displacement back at home. Um, we've, got, uh, we've got color. And we have a pretty good representation of what that final surface looks like. We've got the glint off the surface. We've got the environment map, little sky, ground environment map, wheels. And it's important for artists to be able to see that when they animate, because animating a shiny car surface is not the same as animating a dusty character skin. And if we use the same map and the same GLSL to describe them, we sort of take away. But again, it's important to be able to see that under deformation. So here, we're moving McQueen around at 44 frames a second, and we're kind of describing how he moves his face and how that smile comes up. Um, I apologize, because I'm really not an animator, but you, know, you can lift up into a smile and pull his lips up here. You can rise his, you know, you know, raise his eyes up, or you can pull him down into a frown. Pull him down here, then you can open and close. There we go, we'll have a whole live, uh, live improvised performance. <laughs> I wanted to touch back on some of the things that David was talking about. Um, so here we have uh, open subdiv. And that was queued up here. So here we have open subdiv, and you can look at the resolution, what's happening. You see that wireframe on the surface? That's not the, that's not the, the, the mesh that was rigged. Um, we'll drop down one level of resolution. We'll drop down one. This is the mesh that was rigged. And you can see, um, maybe I'll turn off the wireframe so you can see it a little better. There's a lot of artifacts on that surface. And if we just gave the animators that, like, you can see all the hits in there, and you can see that the animators would say, oh, you need to up the mesh resolution to be able to get a better surface so I can see it, and then we up the mesh resolution, and then the rigor is drowning in points because it takes, you have to go in and touch all of those points in the way that we get our art direction. Um, so we have low resolution meshes, which are very efficient for riggers to use, and then we use open subdiv. Um, in, in our case, we're using a GLSL prepass because that happened to work fast for us, but we have also used CUDA in the past to um, be able to take that surface, refine it on the GPU, and then blast it down to the GLSL. So it's only the low resolution mesh, um, which, is, which is dealt with on the CPU, and then all of the geometric amplification and GLSL shading is all done on the CPU, I mean on the GPU. Um, and again, we use exclusively NVIDIA GPUs. Um, in this case, it's a 980. Uh, we have M6000s at work. Um, we have all kinds of them, and we have uh, always used NVIDIA GPUs. Imagine this was like an appealing look, because it really isn't, but you know, you can just imagine. And that's what we have. You got a clue?